Hey guys, it's KJ4A and welcome back to my 7 Days to Die Let's Play. This is Season 8, Alpha 8. This is Episode 8. And, um, yeah, something's really weird with this game. I just tried to record an episode, and uh, not 5 seconds into the episode, the zombies knew exactly where I were and came in and just busted through my walls. No problem. Huge horde. Uh, now, I'm going to give you some details about the situation. Um, number one, I did have the zombie uh, horde up to uh, high. So I turned that down. I had to put on uh, I had to put on cheat mode because I was just I couldn't like live like there was nothing I could do. I was just getting killed over and over and like it was really weird. Now there's two settings in this game. Now there's normal aggression and there's um, feral aggression. And feral aggression means the zombies will know you where you are no matter what. Uh, they will come in and they will kill you no matter what you do. Uh, I did not have that set. I was up here and I was undetected and I opened one chest. And the zombies, the entire area knew where I was, came in, uh, a horde like I've never seen before, came in, broke through everything, came in and killed me repeatedly, and I had no choice but to go into cheat mode and just clear them out because I couldn't even do anything. I couldn't even make a video. Um, I don't know what happened. I put the zombies down to medium now, and uh, again, they're not on feral aggression. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave the game, I'm going to turn the zombies back on, I'm going to leave them on medium, I'm going to turn off cheat mode, and I'm going to try and play the game. Because uh, as it was, I could I started making a video and all I did was get slaughtered over and over. They busted through walls like they weren't even there, um, and yeah, it was pretty weird. So let me uh, let me go put back on the zombies and put everything back to the way it was, and we'll see if we can survive. So I'll be right back. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now before I go into the game, I'm gonna give you an idea of some of the settings that I changed. Um, I did put loot up to 150 percent. We will get into that later. Um, I basically started a new world, spawned everything in that I had on episode 7. Uh, the world's almost identical. And then I turned the zombies up to high. Not going to work. There's too many. I turned them back down to medium. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I changed. I left the zombie aggression on normal because I want to be able to hide from the zombies. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so it is daytime so they should not be running at me. Let's go outside and see what we can find. It was ridiculous. Like, I actually have the video. Maybe I'll put it up as like a a lost scenes video or something like that. Um, let's see. Look at all these zombies, man. So they upped the zombies. There's no. I mean, it's a pretty decent amount of zombies in the area. Uh, so me up uh, me raising the zombie t the zombies too high. Uh, it seems like it was just a bit too much. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start repairing this house because this, this thing just got. Ha I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Um, I'm probably gonna put up that video as like a, a funny like screw up video because it was it was bad guys. It was bad. All right, so we're gonna need some wood. We're going to need some uh, scrap iron. Actually, we're gonna need more wood. Okay, and see right here the new uh, the new crafting menu. If you guys want to know anything about the 8.2 update, go watch my 8.2 update video. I put it out yesterday as of now. It shouldn't be more than out a couple of days before this, by the time I put this video up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and make a wood frame. Pretty cool. Love the new crafting system. Just love it. I actually like the uh, the, the the zombies um, being more of a, of a problem now. Um, I'm just going to have to really hide at night and be very careful because uh, I cannot let them know where I am until I get my base fortified. Um... Alright, so let's go ahead and fix our doors. And what we're going to do is, and I kind of wanted to do this anyway, we're going to start replacing this stuff with real wood. Now this will make it a lot harder for them to chew through. And uh, why isn't that upgrading? Oh, because I don't have any wood. Alright, well let's go ahead and grab our trusty axe here. We'll drink some coffee. Looks like the zombies are kind of moving in on me a little bit. They don't know I'm here yet, but they are in the area. Uh, so, yeah, it was weird. I was I was upstairs. You'll see. I'll, I'll put the video up as like a joke video, maybe in a few days. Uh, but I was upstairs, and that uh, I, I, w I was fine. Like, oh, by the way, here's one of the pine seed saplings. Um, so I was upstairs, and, and I was fine. And, and no, nobody knew I was up there. It was great. Uh, the stealth system was working fine. And um, all of a sudden, man, just I opened one chest, and then the entire horde went ape ape crap I'm trying not to curse but they just went nuts I couldn't believe it uh, so yeah it was pretty crazy I mean, that's pretty cool though uh, the only thing is I don't like not being able to go in my chests at night like I like to do my inventory management and all that stuff at night 
Um, if I can't go on my chest at night, that's going to kind of suck a little bit, but um, not really that big of a deal, to be honest. Um, okay, about the horde aggression. Now, again, you should really go watch my Alpha 8.2 update video if you want to know about horde aggression. But basically what it means is you can turn the zombies to the way they used to be, where they will know you are where you are all hours of the night, um, all the time. Uh, it's called feral mode, and I don't like it. It kind of it kind of takes out the whole uh, it kind of takes out the whole aspect of uh, stealth. Um, it only it only happens at night, but um, still, I don't like the idea of it. I also don't like the idea of the zombies being able to run inside your buildings at night. I think that's I, I kind of wish that would change. Um, that's the thing with feral mode. Uh, you know, back in the day, um, back in the day when you know you would play this game. The zombies would be know where you are at all times, but it was a lot easier to defend yourself because. Uh, does he know where I am? I think so. Oh well, we'll leave him alone. Um, it was a lot easier to defend yourself back in the day because if the zombies did get inside, you had lights up and they would be slowed down. Um, in feral mode, you know, at night they're running no matter what. I don't see how you're going to defend yourself. Uh, you know, I don't want to say anything's impossible because I'm sure there's a lot of good players out there that um, can do the impossible. But for me, uh, I think it's a bit much. I mean, they're going to break through. Uh, they chewed through this house like it was nothing. Even my doors that were upgraded were chewed through. Um, I think in order to survive feral mode, you would need a way to clear out the zombies um, while they're trying to break in. Maybe, it, maybe some kind of overhang to shoot off of or maybe a tower across the way that you can get into secretly and shoot them from there. Um, it's a very active defense, uh, and that's going to get me back into um, an issue that I've been dealing with uh, called Loot Abundance. Um, loot Abundance, I believe, has been tweaked. Uh, I basically have the loot on 150%, and I went into Dyersville before this video, just, you know, in God mode, just looking around at the loot and trying to see what I, what I could see. And i got to tell you, the loot is a lot better now. Um, food and gun safes are completely imbalanced. Um, you get way too much food way too much food and the gun safes have way too many bullets way too many guns uh, but other than that everything else at 150 percent loot is pretty decent um i was kind of happy with the loot i didn't think it was too much i didn't think it was too little uh the cars have have you know a decent amount of loot but i don't think it's too much and uh all that stuff is pretty oh come on you're not even showing up on my map what the hell hacker You're just inside my... Okay, did you just spawn in there? Because I have a bed down. Nah, he might probably walked in the door. Let's close the door. So, um, yeah, loot abundance is not bad. Um, the food and... The food and... Not so much water, even. It's mostly canned food. Uh, and gun safes are still in balance. Um, I don't know if I need glass panes for anything. I'm just going to leave that stuff. Uh, yeah, the, the, that stuff's still in balance, but everything else seems pretty decent. So what I did was I actually went to Dyersville in God mode, and uh, this is this seems really like stupid, but I went into all the gun safes and I basically took out a lot of the bullets and the guns and made them a lot more reasonable. Where the gun safe would have like 20 guns, you know, I maybe 25. I switched up to like 10 or 15 guns, uh, which still seems like a lot, but it's 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 definitely better than it was before. And um, there, were, there was like bullets. There would be like almost 700 bullets in some of those gun safes. But if you think about it, honestly, a gun safe, I've lived in a house with guns. It's not out of the realm of possibility to see 750 rounds in a gun safe. Uh, you know. So it's not that crazy, but I did I did lower some of it. I took some of it out and just destroyed it. And uh, when I go to Dyersville and hit the gun safes, they will be a lot more reasonable. Uh, but still, a little bit on the high end. But, uh, you know, with the zombies being so crazy now the thing is even with a gun like an ammo i don't see how you're gonna defend yourself against a horde that's running at you constantly you know you don't you don't go outside for back in the day before the update you didn't go outside for a reason you know you would not go outside because the zombies were running and even armed you didn't stand much of a chance and nothing's really changed i think that they need to change it back so if the zombies get in light slows them down um because once they you know, once they start hitting your base, if you don't have a way to kill them without them being able to reach you, uh, which I, I really don't here, uh, you're not going to make it. And, and not only that, but the game lags so horrendously 
uh, when there's a horde that it's it's almost impossible to fight back. It's really bad, um, like really really bad. So I don't know. Now I think I feel like I'm droning on about stuff that doesn't have you know much to do with anything. But the thing is, I gotta I gotta do some of these repairs and you know I gotta find something to talk about. So hope I'm not boring you too much, but. Uh, just giving you an idea. I, di I do have a lot to say about this update. I do have a lot to say about the game in general. Um, I think they could fix most of my problems with the game if they lowered the loot in the loot safes, uh, lowered the loot, lowered the guns in the gun safes, and lowered the amount of food you get uh, altogether. And then leave all the other loot the same on 150%. Uh, actually, I think 150% should be 100%, but uh, it doesn't matter. It's, it's just moving this slider over. It's not really a big deal. Now, I need to figure out, um, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do any crazy defenses for one more day, and I'm gonna see if I can stay, uh, stay undetected for a night. Uh, if I can't stay undetected for a night, I don't think I can survive in this game. It was that bad. You'll see. I mean, I'll play the video. Uh, I'll, I'll put the video up eventually. But, uh, it was, it was pretty, it was pretty crazy. Uh, I want that bottom to be rebar, but for now, no, no, no. Like that. Do I have any rebar on me? I have probably some rebar upstairs. Let's go get some rebar. Um, one of the major changes they made, uh, and, and not many people talked about it, but it, w it was a major change, is they made rebar. Uh, they made rebar a lot uh, more. It, it takes a lot more iron to upgrade rebar now, which is part of the reason I put the loot back up to 150% because. Um, iron is, is still a problem, uh, so yeah, let's grab some iron here, and we'll just turn that on, this is the new forged iron, alright, we got many cobblestones, which we don't have a lot of, uh, where are my cobblestones, oh, I had some cobblestones, no, I guess not, okay, um, uh, I do have cement mold, and one cool thing is you can take Small, small, you have small stone, small, ooh, small stone. Did I get myself any rock? Actually, I don't think I, yeah, there's, no, that's more small stone. Where's my rock? I didn't, I don't think I spawned myself back any stone. Eh, that's not really a problem. Because you can take this, by the way, look at the new animation for the, uh, the cement mold, which is pretty cool. And you put that in there, and you can now take small stone and get cement from it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's do this. There's seven minutes. And we're gonna need stone for this, I think. Why do I have small stone? What do you get from mining? I'm confused. I don't think I spawned the right thing. That's okay. Um, let's go to building. And let's look for... What am I looking for? Cobblestones, right? I don't know if that's under building. Cobblestones. Cobblestones. No. Uh, resources or something like that. Miscellaneous resources. Sharp stone, stick, forging iron, buckshot, crushed sand, gas cans, gravel, gunpowder, lumps of clay, leather... Sh oh my god, where's the cobblestones? Small stones? What makes small stones? Regular stones. Wait, that... Oh, I see what I did. Okay. I, th I thought I had some regular stone on me. I guess not. I'm just going to check really quick. No. No, okay. Uh, give me one second. Okay, it's right here. Cobblestone rocks. There's two recipes. Both are stone. I think that's regular stone. I think that's the stone you get on the surface, and I think this is the stone you get underground. Let's go, uh... Let's go mine us up some rocks. We gotta hurry, I gotta solidify this place. Uh, I think I'm just gonna not... Whoa. There we go. I think I'm just going to not make any noise at night, because <laughs> at least until I get like some kind of real defense going, because this is rough. Alright, there we go. Let's see what we got for that. So now you get... Um, I thought you get stone from those as well. Maybe you get small stones. I don't know. I don't know where you get these from. I don't see any. Let's hit one more. And uh, if not, we'll just start mining. 
I hate mining. They, they didn't make mining any easier. Five hits per stone underground at max stamina is a damn travesty. Uh, yeah, you just get small stones from them, so you don't even get regular stones. And I just knocked up two stones, and I only got nine iron fragments from two of them? That doesn't seem right. They're supposed to have upped that. I actually tested it, too. Can I make regular stones with these? Probably not. Probably not. I'm not going to bother with it now, though. Let's knock up one more and see what we get. I think you can turn regular stone into small stone. I don't think you can go the other way. Alright, let's see what we got there. 17. That was a little better. No, I had 9. Let's try again. I actually knocked up a bunch of these stones, um, and I was getting like 10 to 14 iron fragments per stone, and now like it doesn't seem like I'm getting that many. Whatever, man. Like this loot abundance 150% all the way. Screw this. I do not think you get enough stuff. 17 to 27 would be 10. So that was only 8. 8 iron fragments. So yeah, you're getting under 10 iron fragments per rock on the surface now. That's kind of bullshit. Alright, let's uh let's go ahead and drink some coffee. Alright. Six. Two, three, four, five. Okay. So there we go. Now we got some stone. Okay, so I guess I don't think there's I think this is I don't think there's any more of this kind of stone. So yeah. There we go. We got some cobblestone rocks. All right. So let's go upgrade. We gotta, we gotta solidify this house. So let's, let's uh, make that a priority. All right in there. And upgrade this son of a bitch. There we go. Now, now we're looking good, man. Like, just gotta make this thing a little bit more solid. The thing is, all this work to uh, fortify a house is not gonna do you a damn bit of good if you can't kill the zombies that are beating on it. Uh, no matter how much stuff you put out here, the zombies will break through eventually. So I do need a way to kill them. Uh, spike traps will definitely help. Um, but I don't think it's going to be enough. I don't know. It might be, actually. Uh, maybe. Where's my axe? Um, oh, there it is. Oh, by the way, did you see the uh, colored backgrounds now? Pretty cool. Kind of like it. Um, I actually didn't talk about those in my update video. I totally forgot. Um, I don't think they make that much of a difference, but it's a it's a neat little addition. Kind of like it. All right, there we go. There we go. We will knock you out. Not gonna need this pickaxe. All right. Put that down that down and upgrades it's definitely gonna help like i said i mean spike you know what i probably should put spike traps down um the thing is i don't know if i'm gonna have time tonight to do that i wish these walls were made out of like the upgraded blocks because the thing is if you go to dyersville all the walls are made from upgraded blocks it's, it's pretty nice but uh this cabin is not uh, but who the hell wants to live in Dyersville? Honestly, the main thing they need to work on is the lag. I need to I need to be able to fight the zombies at at 30 frames per second, and I don't think that's asking a lot. But uh, you know, I need to. I need that I need that smooth frame rate to help me kill them. Pipe bombs would be nice too, actually. Problem is, is you're trying to fight the zombies at night as well. Um, not only are they strong. Not only are they coming at you in big waves, but uh, anytime you want to fight them and you start making noise, you're just spawning more zombies. So I, I don't know what to do. Like, you guys let me know what you think. Should I be shooting off my gun at night uh, when there's a horde coming in? If not, how am I supposed to fight off the horde without making noise? You know? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make a bunch of... That might be a little bit much. Ah, screw it. Let's just make a bunch of sticks. Actually, that might not fit in my inventory. Yeah, that's a bunch of sticks. Ah, whatever. It's only wood, right? Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and make ourselves some spike traps. I haven't worked with these in quite a while. 
it's actually a good sign that I need these. I do want the zombies to be more of a challenge. Uh, so, tools and traps, wood spikes, barbed wire. I wonder if barbed wire does anything anymore. Landmines, fire axe, garden hoe. Oh, tools and traps, okay. Stone axe, tin landmines, okay. Hmm, only 228, wow. <laughs> I thought I would have got a lot more from that. That's still a lot, though. I used to make them by the thousands back in the day. All right, so we're going to go ahead and place these down. Oh, boy, this is old school, man. I haven't used these in forever. I'm also surprised the zombies didn't go for the door. Uh, that's making me nervous. I want the zombies to go for the door. I was hoping they would. It'd definitely make things a lot easier for me. All right, let me place these down, guys, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I haven't placed all these down yet, but I do hear a plane. All right, I don't see any drops over there. Um, I don't see any drops over here. Let's go ahead and drink some coffee. All right, I don't see any drops. I don't see anything. I don't know if it dropped earlier or... Oh, man. Come on. They never get these things. All right, hold on, let me see. Nah, we're going way too far. Yeah, I never get these things, man. Like, I didn't see it even if... Oh, hold on. Maybe it didn't drop anything. Let's see. If there's another plane, that means the other one didn't drop all three. If any. All right, I don't see those either. Ugh. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. Stay on point. Let's, uh, let's get this one. I even have room for it. Alright, let's do this. I should probably eat some food. I'm gonna wait until I'm actually taking damage, though. Because I don't want to stop. I want to get... I want to go as far as I can while this thing's up in the air. So I can track it better. And that's way up there. I think I got this one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna be up... I'm gonna be under this one before it lands. <laughs> Sweet, I actually got one. I'm okay with just getting one. I can live with that. Awesome. Look at me getting an airdrop. I'm, I'm like a pro and stuff. I don't see any more, but that's okay. Supply. Let's see what we got here. Oh my goodness. This is another problem with 150% loot drop. It's, it's a little bit too much on this stuff. All right. We gotta pick and choose. Uh, I do want pistols. Let's do that. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, what else? Can I get rid of anything else? Nah, not well. Yeah, this. Uh, hmm, that's a tough call. All right, so let's go ahead and learn some of these books. Um, since I started a new world, all my uh, all my knowledge got reset. So let's see, what are we gonna learn here? Pistol. What are we gonna learn here? Forty-four Magnum. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, learn it, damn it! I don't has all day. Uh, hunting knives. Hunting knives actually got a boost, so who knows? Maybe that'll be good this down, throw that down, throw that down. Do I have any more books? Yes, I do. What do we got here? Uh, shotgun. Okay, let's pick up the guns. Hunting rifle. Another hunting rifle. And a pistol. Can't pick up the pistol. Do I have anything else I don't want? Um, I don't have any food. Those bandages were a godsend. That was really nice. We could definitely break down some of these guns. Um... We don't need two pistols. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I got the pump shotgun. That's I can't break that down. That's my actual. That's my actual pump shotgun. So pick those two down for that. Then we can pick that up. 
and a pistol. So let's. Uh, oh, we got to get that pistol now because we just broke our, we just broke the other one down. Um. Oh, here we go. And a pistol. Okay, good airdrop, guys. Good freaking airdrop. That was my timer going off. I'm going to make this a little bit longer of an episode, a special uh, 8.2 episode, you know, uh, because I want to I want to actually show you the night and see if, uh, see if I could survive it. The problem is uh, what will happen is I'll keep dying and I'll keep spawning right there and just keep getting killed over and over, so it's kind of annoying. That's what happened last time. I kind of was just getting my ass handed to me. And um, what I did was I just shut off the video and I tried to survive. And then after I shut off the video, I just got, like, spawn killed over and over and over. So annoying. Let's drink this. Okay, so... Yeah, oh yeah, spikes. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing more to show here. I'm gonna actually, uh... I'm gonna actually cut the video here since my timer just went off. And all I'm gonna be doing is putting down spikes. So, um, yeah, guys, pretty interesting, uh, episode, no matter how you slice it. I'll probably put up that video where I just get killed, like, mercilessly. I have trouble saying that. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's going to be it for Episode 8, uh, and I'll see you next time for Episode 9. Till then, take it easy.